All right, everybody, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. This hour, we are going to be focusing on our reading and pronunciation. And uh, this class is for uh, my advanced students, OK? The uh, short story we're going to be reading is entitled Fiery Heart. And to be honest, I have not read through this one. Um, I saw the uh, the uh, link and a little description of it, and I was like, oh, it sounds uh, Sounds kind of interesting. Um, so we are we are going to test it out, and I'm going to cross my fingers that it has all good things. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so that's the uh, the story we're going to be checking out. Go ahead and uh, and open that up um, on uh, on your own computer. I do suggest opening it on your own computer because uh, sometimes my uh, my internet slows down. Uh, sometimes your internet slows down, and uh, uh, so this will be easier for you to uh, to follow along if you already have it open on your computer. Okay, uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Hi there, Ampato. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. You? I'm doing great. How was the weekend? Well, not so good because I got fever. Oh fever. no! I thought throat, but now I am better. Wow. Okay. Well, that's that's good. Yes. On Sunday morning, I had I had a really bad headache, and I think it was due to uh, uh, to the weather and things like that. And then uh, took some medicine after that, and and uh, in, in, uh, felt better in the afternoon. But yeah, in the morning it was a little rough. Well, I'm glad you're yeah. feeling better now. Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And uh, who do I have? Do I have Ann or Roman? Ann. Ann. How you doing, Ann? Hello, thank you. I'm well. What about you? I'm doing good. Good. How was your weekend? Uh, not good. <laughs> uh, not good. Yeah, because it was raining all weekend and it's raining ah. now. But we have summer. We have to have a sun instead of running. Raining. I know it needs it needs to be sunny outside so you can go out and enjoy uh, being uh, being out in the outdoors, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully it dries up here soon. Yeah, I hope so. All right. How about uh, Dennis? How you doing, Dennis? Ooh. Hello, Chad. Hi, uh, Dennis. I'm doing okay. Good. How how was your weekend, Dennis? Uh, say that one more time. It, it broke up just a little bit. Uh, great, great as usual. Fabulous. That's good to hear. Okay. Uh, good. Let's go to Goliath. How you doing, Goliath? I'm doing fine, and you? Me as well. Can't complain. What? This is a great day. Is it eight o'clock? I am. Uh, it's nine. Nine a.m. for wow. me. Wow. Wow. Okay, just I was wondering. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, yeah. I uh, I was up at about five thirty ish this morning or so, and then went and did my my exercise. Came back and uh, uh, it's been it's been great. Really good day so far. A little mm, tired. Nice. Little but on the tired side. At what time did you sleep yesterday? Um, last night I went to sleep at about. Mm, Mid no, it was about twelve thirty. Mm, so only four hours uh, sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> about. <laughs> you're, you're a tough teacher. <laughs> yeah, well, I I can't go to sleep early in in most cases. Well, usually what happens is that in the middle of the day I end up taking a nap, mm -hmm. and uh, and so I I take a nap for about twenty thirty minutes and then I'm and then I'm good to go. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, yeah, I usually stay up till later. Unfortunate. <laughs> Um, very good. Let's see. Laszlo, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. And how about you? I'm doing really good as well. Uh, and uh, Laszlo, how was your weekend? Oh, I learn English. <laughs> Always. <Okay. laughs> very good. So you spent some time learning English. Awesome, yeah. man. Okay. And uh, let's see here. Pradeep, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm good. Thank you very much. How about you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. Good to have you uh, <laughs> back in class. Nice to see you again. Yeah, same to you. How, how was your weekend, Pradeep? 
Uh, very good, uh, really, really good because I'm in holiday in Sri Lanka. So oh, it's all, really? Yeah, yeah, it's almost, you know, going finish, uh, you know, end of uh, this month. I have to go back to Dubai. Okay. All right. Yeah. Very cool. So you were able to uh, 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 um, celebrate a little bit with the holidays. Yeah, celebrating and, you know, a lot of learning, you know, I'm going to do ILTS also, ILTS. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Well, thank yeah. you for sharing. Uh, how about uh, Anastasia? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. Yes. And how was your how was your weekend, Anastasia? Yeah, it was pretty busy. Just um, we bought a new uh, book, uh, wardrobe. Um, mm -hmm. Also buy uh, some freezer, like uh, to freeze uh, some. Uh, uh, vegetables and fruits in okay. winter time. So uh, do you do you have fruits. your do you have your own garden? No, we just ah, okay. We just buy from locals people. Uh, uh -huh. Like you know, grannies, old people. They have natural uh, without any pesticides and chemicals. Mm -hmm. uh, food, organic so food. We, yeah, kind okay. of organic food. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's why we just. Uh, Buy food uh, in summertime and freeze it uh, and eat in winter time. So I'm cool. vegetarian. Yeah, that's fine. Very so, yeah, cool. Uh, kind awesome. of busy. Yeah. Awesome. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. Sounds really good. Yeah. Um, very good. And let's see, Aga, how are you? Hello, I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing great. And how was your weekend, Aga? It was quite good, even though it was still raining. But, uh -huh. <laughs> but yes, it it went it went quite quite right, and now it's finally sunny here, so I'm very happy. <laughs> well, that's that's good to hear. Very good yeah. to hear. Awesome. <laughs> well, welcome welcome back. And Thank last you. but not least, we have Tatiana. How are you doing, Tatiana? Hi, Chad. I'm good. Thanks. And you? I'm doing really doing really well. Thank you for asking. How was your weekend? Oh, it was nice. Um, I just uh, relaxing, um, gone uh, on riding. Uh, was riding on bikes. Great. So it was great. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like fun. Okay, yeah. you guys. Yeah. All right, you guys. Um, go ahead and open up the uh, the link to the uh, to the uh, um, story we're going to be reading. And I'll. Uh, and share my screen. We're going to start off on the right hand side this morning with Tatiana. And um, let me have you read from Clarence, Mother Yelled, down to um, your father around. Okay? okay? Clarence, Mother Yelled, get in here this instant. I smirked sitting down on the nearest bale of hay and waiting to watch the show smoothing my white milking dress as I sat down. Only moments before I'd found uh, a dead red in mother's shoe right before she put it in she put it on. Clarence, uh, my youngest brother, was the one person who could have put it put it there. Caroline, please. But mother, I was the one who found the dead red. May I stay and watch the punishment? Oh well, yes, you may. I have heard, uh, I've forgotten that you were the one that found it. Are you sure it was poor Clarence thought? It might have been. Blaze and Archer were in the field when I left mother and Amanda is down in the city getting supplies for the work for the week. It must have been Clarence. Mother sighed and looked towards the barn door, waiting for Clarence to come around. Things were so much simpler with your father around. All right, nice job. Uh, let's take a look at uh, four words here. Uh, first up is side. Instead of signed, okay, it is side. Sign. Side. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, let's go to the word uh, though. You had read the word as thought, and I figured it may have just been a, uh, uh, like a typo mistake, but yes, though. Though. OK. 
Okay, very nice. Okay, and this word here, uh, smooth. Where'd you go? Okay, so um, you had said smoothing using a uh, unvoiced th. This is a voiced th sound. We say smooth, smoothing. Smoothing. Good. One more time. Smoothing. Smoothing. Mm. Excellent. Okay. And uh, at the very beginning here, we have the word smirked. Instead of smirked, okay, we use mm -hmm. an, uh, an ER sound. Smur. Smirked. Smirked. There you go. Nice job. Thank you, Tatiana. Thanks. All right. Let's, uh, let's go to uh, Pradeep. Uh, Pradeep, please continue here um, yes, sir. and read... Read the next uh, two two paragraphs in about half, okay? So down to uh, blonde and curling, okay? All right. Uh, I, I, I can't see it. Okay. Did you open up the uh, link on your own uh, computer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's from, uh, uh, from my... My, it's, yeah. my throat tightened. My bro, okay. Uh, my uh, my brought uh, tight ended, uh, and I quickly looked away from mother. Father had uh, died when I was only four. My uh, oldest brother, uh, Archer, had uh, remembered uh, him well because he had been eight uh, days, had been seven, and my sister. Amanda had uh, been uh, six. Clearance was only two at the time. Now, uh, even ten years later, it was uh, hard to hear his name in uh, conversation. Okay, C uh, keep going through the next paragraph, please. Uh, Arthur, who was uh, 18, was the oldest in the family. He was the man of the house. You could say now that father was born. He actually looked almost like father. I am told he was straight, uh, black, uh, black hair that uh, hadn't uh, that hadn't been cut in while. So it fell in front of his eyes. Uh, his eyes, when uncovered, were warm, a chocolate brown that always had joy or laughter floating about in the uh, midst. Uh, he was tall. Uh, he was tall and well built from working in the field. Okay, uh, very good. Let's uh, take a look at some words here. Um, first up, we have the word built. Okay, instead of belt. Okay, a belt would be what you would wear around your waist to hold up your pants. That's with a short E sound. Bell. Okay, belt. This word is built. And when we say that when, when someone is well built, that means that they are strong. Okay, so this is bill with a short I sound. Okay, repeat that. Built. Built. Good. One more time. Built. Built. Excellent. Okay, let's go to the word midst. Midst. Okay, one more time. Midst. Midst. Okay, um, good. And that means among. Okay, so among among them. And I want to go to the word father. Uh, here with the word father, you were pronouncing that th like a d, saying father, father. Okay, with the th. Okay, yeah. well this is a this is a voiced th in this word. It sounds like a, a vibration, okay? You, you'll feel a vibration in your, in your throat as well as in your mouth, all right? And you stick your tongue between your teeth, okay? We say father, father, father. Father. Almost, almost. Make sure that your tongue is between your teeth. You are saying father, pronouncing a D sound, okay? This, Fa this is... Father. All right. Father. Let's, uh, all right. So let's uh, let's check this out, okay? All right. All right. So when when I pronounce th when I pronounce this, my tongue goes between my teeth. Father. 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 Good. Good. One more time. 
Father. 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 Okay, all right. So you're bouncing between pronouncing the D and the TH. Okay, when you say fad, father, okay, your tongue is hitting the top of your mouth and it's touching the back of your teeth. Okay, yeah. when I say father, my tongue goes between my teeth like this. Yeah. Okay, yeah. practice practice that sound. Okay, I want you to practice that vibration. Sure, sure, okay. Father. Okay, one more time. Father. Father. Okay, you're getting closer. Nice job. Nice job. Um, all right, I have uh, one last word that I want to practice with you. It is the word looked. Okay, it's an ed ending. All right, when a word ends with a k sound, all right, and okay. we add an ed, that ed sounds like a t. The word is looked. Looked. Okay, one more time. Looked. Looked. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Welcome. All right, let's go to Laszlo. Yes. Okay, Laszlo, uh, please continue reading from Blaze, the second oldest, uh, down to to prove anything, please. Okay. I cur curled up around his temples like a vine curling. Um, let's see here. Uh, it's where it says Blaze, the second oldest, and one was 17. Do you see that? Okay. Sorry. Uh, Blaze, the second oldest, uh, and who was 17, was the total opposite of the brother. He was lean and fit, not a hint of muscle to prove all the, that work in the field. He had a turn to throw this in the sun trout. His hair was blonde and curling. It curled up, up around his temples like a vine curling up the trees. His eyes were a dark blue showing his German heritage. My mother is half German, half English. My father was a true Englishman. Amanda my, my one and one only sister and who was 16 was the sweetest girl that you could ever meet for mice. She was the kindest person between England and Greece. She was also the prettiest out of the two of us. I had always wished I had had her looks. Amanda had long curly black hair that formed perfect large uh, ringlets, ringlets that filled almost the, her hips and dark blue eyes that remind me of the ocean every time I saw them. I invite her long Georgios legs that made her almost few feet taller that most girl like me. She had a hatchety tilt to her chin that never smeared to pro prove anything. Okay, nice job. Uh, let's check out some words here. First up is seemed. Seemed. Yeah, one more time. Seemed. Seemed. Good, good. All right, now this word here is haughty. Okay, the G-H is going to be silent there. Haughty. Okay? Haughty. Haughty. Yeah, and it's sort of, uh, haughty is like pride, uh, pride and kind of maybe an arrogance, okay? Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what that word means, okay? Um, this word here, instead of gorgeous, the word is gorgeous, gore, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, great job. Okay, let's go to uh, this word here. Okay, the root word would be envy, to envy. Adding the ed makes that envied. Envied. Good, one more time. Envied. Envied. Mm -hmm. um, let's practice the short i sound in the word wished. Instead of saying wished, we, it is we, wished. Wished. Fabulous, good job. Um, let's go to uh, the v sound in vine. Okay, so like a vine curling up, 
like a vine curling up. Try that. Like a vine curling up. Okay, give me the V sound. You said like a vine. Okay, it is like a v vine curling like up. Like a vine curling up. Much better. Nice job. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this word right here is though. 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 Okay, practice that TH sound. Okay, instead of though, it is th, though. Though. That's it. Good job. Okay. And last word is the word opposite. opposite. Okay. And, yeah, opposite. So stress is at the very beginning of the word. Okay. And then uh, instead of saying sight, opposite, it is opposite. Opposite. O opposite. Opposite. Very nice. All right. Thank you, Laszlo. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's uh, continue, you guys. And Goliath, you are next. Please read from uh, I am the total. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I am the total opposite of my sister down to well fit. Please. Mm. Just, uh, yeah, because there is a, a time t when you say something or you click on something, there is a, a delay, I think. Okay. Hello? That, that, yeah, that may be, uh, no, now that may I be see your... It, yeah. Your uh, yeah, if I click on something, maybe your maybe your internet, but I'm not I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. It could be mine. Okay. Never know. Okay. okay. Go ahead. It could be the hangout. <laughs> it could be hangout. Okay. Yeah, it could be a bunch of different factors. Okay, I'm right. I'm the total opposite of my sister. Like Blaz was uh, with Archer, I'm 14 and second youngest in the family. I have short, straight, blonde hair that mother cut almost every other week just because she didn't want it long like Amanda's. Every time I turn, I can feel the tips just barely brushing the top of my shoulders. I have dark brown eyes, so dark that people tell me they are almost black. So black that you can't even uh, see my pupils part of the time. I'm very short compared to my sister. I came up to her shoulder. To her shoulder. Uh, Clarence, the youngest of all of us, uh, is 12 and uh, the most annoying kid in all Europe. He will pull pranks on just about every one that he can see in his eyesight. He will talk. He will talk uh, non-stop until someone hits him on the back of the head and tells him to be quiet. He doesn't look as bad as he seems. He has tawny hair, but it's curly like Blaze's. He's still too young to work in the fields, but he will do chores. He cleans the kitchen coop, clean, uh, clean up co manure, uh, feeds the animals, exercises the horses, and any, uh, and any other core that the rest of us, that the re rest of us, just don't want to do. By doing most of these, of these, he's uh, lean and well fit. Okay, nice job. Uh, let's check out some uh, new words for you. Um, this would be cow manure. Cow manure. Yeah. Cow manure. Okay, good. Yeah. So, uh, in other words, cow poop. All ah, right, the so, poop. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that manure was the poop. Okay. Yeah, manure is poop. All right, I so thought, uh, the, I thought uh, any, another thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, though, if you are on uh, on a farm, which is where my dad grew up and uh, his brothers, um, <laughs> which is where I get my foul mouth, um, you they they would just call it shit, cow shit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, and it wasn't uh, it wasn't a bad bad word it was just a word you use to call what it is right yeah, so uh, yeah so uh, manure in other words uh-huh yeah uh, all right let's go to the word uh, chores now instead of cores okay ah, yeah. chores chores I can like uh, there is a chorus I think about singing or something like uh, chorus. yes that would be no, no. chorus where the e instead no, of an e there it is no. a u chorus yeah, but here this is chores. Chores. All right. 
um, let's go to the uh, apostrophe S. Okay, so this is blazes, blazes. Blazes. Okay, blazes. go ahead and try that. Blazes. Uh, blazes. Good, good. Okay. Um, let's go to the word head. Okay, you had said had, ha, had. Okay, it is head. He, head. Head, and the back, back of the head. There you go. And last word here is opposite. So your your first paragraph was uh, was really good. Uh, we just had the word opposite. Um, that s instead of being opposite, opposite, it is opposite, opposite with a uh, oh. unvoiced s. Okay. Opposite. Yeah. Opposite. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you very much. Awesome. Let's go to Dennis. All right, Dennis, uh, please continue from my family. Uh, let's see, read through these here, and I'll have you read down to uh, Liar, I Muttered Under My Breath. Okay? Uh, okay. Uh, my family and I lived on a farm just a few miles out from the big town of London. Every week my sister went to the city and sold the milk from our cows, the eggs from our chickens, the cheese that we made and anything that we had harvested that week. We saved some for ourselves, but the mother normally brought back food and supplies for us. My brother's tawny head peered around the door of the barn. <clears throat> I looked at man, scrolled, knowing that I was the one who found the rat. He quietly walked up to mother and stood in front of her. I didn't do it, he said automatically. I rolled my eyes and looked at mother, waiting for a response from her. I wasn't disappointed. Her lips pursed together and her eyebrows went up. What makes you think that you did something, Clarence? Clarence's eyes widened and he shot me a look. I shot him a green and winked. Ah, uh, we just put him out. He didn't show it though. He still looked pretty confused. What? Did he do something wrong that I should know about? Clarence shook his head quickly. No, no, I didn't do anything. Liar, I might have it under my breath. Okay, um, all right, let's check out some words here. Nice job. Um, this word here, instead of breathe, it is breath. Oh, uh, yeah, breath, yeah. Okay, yeah, just watch out for the E at the end. That'll, that'll let you know if you pronounce it breathe or breath. Okay, um, okay. let's go to the word know, that I should know about. Okay, here you said now. Now, okay, it's no with an O sound uh, that I should know about. Try that. Uh, that I should know about. There you go. Good. Okay, let's go to the word um, in front. Uh, stood in front of me. Where is it that he stood in front? Here we are. Okay, so front. Okay, uh, here you had said front, front, front. Okay, it is fr, front. Uh, stood in front of her. Uh, stood in front of her. Good. One more time. Stood in front. Uh, fr, front of her. Front. Stood in front of her. There. That's it. Okay. Good. Now, um, with the word he, remember uh, the rule. At the beginning of a sentence, we, we need to pronounce that H. Mm -hmm. Any other time with he and her, okay, and him, okay, we can, uh, we can uh, drop that H. But if it's at the very beginning of a sentence, we need that H there. Okay, so he looked at me. Try that. He looked at me. Uh, he looked at me. Okay, pronounce that H. He. He looked at me. He looked at me. There you go. That's it. Nice job. Okay. And um, sold at the, at the very beginning there. Okay. Uh, you had said sold. Okay. So, sold. Uh, yeah, sold. Okay, almost. One more time. So, sold. 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 There you go. That's it. Okay, nice job. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's go to Anne. Yeah. All right, Anne, please continue. Um, uh, then can you explain? Uh, and I'll have you read down till, uh, let's see, uh, next time, please. So uh, I hope that the chief delegate's son is with him next time. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Then can you explain, young man, why there was a rat in my shoe this morning? Him. I, 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 uh, Clarence, Clarence uh, stuttered. He kept on shooting me looks, but I 
abused myself with straightening out my dress again, smiling towards the floor. I, I don't know. Mother, aloud, a uh, male voice came from outside of the barn. May I see uh, you for a moment, please? Clarence let out a long breath and shot me a smug look. I rolled my eyes, but a fault, mother. Uh, outside to where Archer and Blaze were lining up against the against uh, the burn wall, talking in low voices uh, to each other. When we walked out, Blaze looked down and examined his fingernails. Is there something wrong, Archer? Why did you call? Archer shot Blaze a glare uh, before answering. We haven't seen Amanda some home. You here I am. My old sister called smiling. Uh, she was painting carrying a basket filled to the brim uh, with covered goods. Sorry, I am late, but the market caught a, a bit held up. What happened? Blaze asked, looking up from his fingernails. Amanda smiled. Uh, the chief delegate to the king uh, came into town and announced that uh, the king was coming into the town tomorrow. I hope that the chief delegate's son is with uh, him next time. Okay, nice okay. job. Let's uh, let's take a look at uh, some words here. First up, we have the word delegate instead of delegate. Okay, the stress is at the beginning of the word. Delegate. Delegate, son. Okay. Delegate. Now the, the, ah, I see. Delegate, yeah. Yeah, the A-T-E at the end is an it sound instead of delegate. Okay, delegate. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to uh, come home. Uh, okay, so uh, we haven't seen we haven't seen Amanda come home. Okay, um, come you missed that C at the beginning of come. So let's try this uh, phrase here. We haven't seen Amanda come home. Try that. We haven't seen Amanda come home. There you go. There you go. Nice job. Um, now I do want to practice the D endings with you. We have uh, uh, two E D sounds here. So we've got rolled and followed. Okay. Now, uh, when you're pronouncing those eds, you're they they are sounding like t's. Okay. You're saying a uh, rolt and followed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the difference between the t, you're saying t followed. Okay. The d sounds like this followed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you want to do, you want to move your tongue back. Okay. Right now it's uh, it's uh, at the uh, front of your mouth, and that's how you're pronouncing that t. Okay, move your tongue back so it hits the top of your uh, of your uh, uh, of your mouth. Okay, so let's try this. We're gonna say followed. Followed. There you go. Good. All right. How about the word rolled? Rolled. Nice. Excellent job. Okay. Good. So you can definitely pronounce those. Let's try that in uh, in uh, this sentence. Um, mother. Uh, Outside. Okay, so I rolled my eyes, but I followed mother outside. Okay, try that, please. Focus on those D's. I rolled my eyes, but I followed mother outside. Good. Much better. Much better. Now, with mother, instead of ma, mother, it is ma, mother. Mother. There you go. Good. Nice job, Anne. Okay. Good. Let's go to Anastasia. Mm-hmm. All right, so next time, um, please uh, continue right where it says, why, Clarence asked. Okay, finish uh -huh. up this, uh, this paragraph, and uh, let's see, I'll have you read down to downright kind of him, please. Okay, gotcha. Uh, why, Clarence asked, leaning up against the barn wall next to Blaze. Just because they're really nice. I like knowing that at least one of the role helpers is nice. We grew up with uh, Gavin, remember? Archer said, looking towards Blaze. Before his father got that notice, we used to play together all the time. Yeah, he was nice even back then. Uh, hasn't he upgraded to a guard now? He's only 15, isn't he? I asked, look toward Amanda. Yeah, but you just have to prove that uh, you've skilled with a sw sword uh, to become a guard. I can't wait until I'm in the city for that. Archer said uh, trusting an imaginary uh, 
sword towards Blazer. Blazer laughed and hit his brother uh, affectionately on the shoulder. Maybe you could prove that the uh, kind tomorrow. I seriously doubt that the king will even get near us. Why don't we have a uh, hit out now? Mother uh, said. Uh, we could stay at the Bradford's house until tomorrow, and then we could spend the day in the city. I'm sure that uh, Bradford wouldn't mind at all. He didn't. He didn't. We left immediately after Mother uh, had stopped talking, and we made it to uh, Brad Bradford's before uh, sundown. He even fed up dinner. Uh, he even feed, feed us dinner, which was uh, downright uh, kind of him. All right, nice job. Uh -huh. Let's go to fed. Uh, Instead of uh, feed us, it is uh -huh. fed. Fed. Excellent. Fed. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to the word head. Instead of uh, heed out now, it uh -huh. is we, we head out now. Try that. Uh -huh. We uh, head out now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, let's go to the word affectionately. Affectionately. Uh -huh. Aff affectionately. Good. One more time. Affectionately. Affectionately. Good. Good. Um, let's go to the word imaginary. Imaginary. Okay. Stress on the A. Imaginary. Imaginary. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh-oh. Where did you go? Looking for upgraded. Hasn't he upgraded to a guard? Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, upgraded. So stress at the beginning of the word. Upgraded. Okay. Upgraded. All right. Nice job. And uh, last word here is royal. Royal. Uh, yeah. So uh, one of the royal helpers. Royal. Royal. Good. Good. Nice job. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Mm hmm all right, Amparo, uh, please continue. And I'll have you, let's see, so downright kind of him. So uh, thank you so much, Bradford. Uh, finish off the paragraph. And I'll have you read till um, wanted to be wearing tomorrow. Okay? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Bradford. Mother said, my boys are really eager to see one of their old friends tomorrow. Gavin, right? Yeah. I heard about King Charles coming tomorrow. Isn't Gavin one of his personal guards now? Yes, sir, he is. I bet his father was proud of him. I heard he was. Say, I bet that some of my daughter's old clothes could fill your two girls there. They have been gone for a while, and I bet you to want to look nice in front of the king. Amanda and I nodded fast, but Mother thought it over. Please, Mother, I begged, looking at her pleading, pleading, please, pleadingly. We would know red then, honest. Caroline, I don't know. Oh, fine, you may. Amanda let out a squeal. We were so excited because Bradford was a wealthy goldsmith merchant and he was rich. His daughters used to always have the most beautiful dresses on. Bradford showed us down the hallway to where the rooms of his daughters were. He showed us the closet and then left us in peace to find what we wanted to be wearing tomorrow. Okay, nice job. That's very kind of him. Uh, all right, good job here. Uh, let's go to, um, where did you go? Uh, pleadingly. Yeah, you were right here. Um, yeah, so plea, pleadingly. Try that one more time. Pleadingly. Okay, very good. Okay, um, let's go to uh, nodded instead of noted. No, it is na, nodded. Mm, nodded. Okay. Very good. And I want to practice. Um, yeah, so uh, you were right saying daughters. Is, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so um, let's go to clothes could fit your your two girls there. Okay. That was kind of a, a, a rocky 
uh, a rocky sentence. So clothes could fit your two girls there. Try that. Clothes could fit your two girls there. Okay, one more time. Clothes, clothes could fit your two girls there. Good. All right. Now on girls. Okay. Remember, girls. you kind of want to swallow that er sound. Girls. Okay. Girls. Try that. Try that one more time. Clothes could fit your two girls there. Good. Nice job. Nice job. Okay. Excellent. Um, and then uh, yes, this paragraph is really good. Okay. Nothing. Nothing wrong there. Nice job. Um, good. Let's go to Aga. Yeah. All right, Aga, please, uh, please read here where it says Amanda and I. Uh, finish off this uh, this little bit, and then I'll have you read down to under my breath, please. All right, Amanda and I look at each other excitedly, and then through open the door of the closet. All of the garments were still there in peak condition. We started to look for them. There were so many gorgeous dresses that it was hard to choose just one. I finally saw mine when Amanda pulled out a startling yellow dress with gold trim. Do you think this looks good on me? She asked, but I didn't answer. I was too busy staring at my dress. I reached into the closet and pulled it out. It was perfect. It was turquoise with a small pattern of birds going around the hem of the dress and there were and there were gems around its neckline. This is gorgeous, Caroline, Amanda said, nearly dropping her dress. I nodded, smiling from ear to to ear. This is definitely what I was going to wear tomorrow. I quickly striped off my traveling cloak and wear uh, and wear and I pulled the dress on. It was almost my exact size. It was a bit tight around the middle, but it was so beautiful that I didn't even care that much about it. You're probably going to really impress the king tomorrow, Caroline, Amanda said, pulling on her yellow dress and looking at herself in the mirror. The king is not the, the one that I want to impress, I muttered under my breath. All right, very good. Girls will be girls. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's go to uh, stripped. Um, okay, so instead of striped, striped would have one P. Stripped is two Ps, so this is stripped. Stripped. Okay, and that means to take off really quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this word here is gems. Okay, right here. Instead of gems, gems. Gems. Okay, and let's go to uh, pulled it out. Okay, so um, uh, you jumped over that ed ending. Okay, we want to say pulled it, pulled it out. Pulled it out. There you go. Okay, so let's throw that into the sentence. Um, uh, oh, yeah, so it's a shorter one. So we'll say, I reached into the closet and pulled it out. I reached into the closet and pulled it out. Yeah, so um, the trick here with these, uh, when, when we have the word it afterwards and we have an ed ending, <clears throat> is to combine the uh, the d and the and the uh, uh, the the word it. Okay, so we have pull it. So it's like two different words, pulled it. Okay. Pulled it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that and that should help you instead of thinking, all right, I need to end with that pulled it. Okay. And you're trying mm -hmm. to uh, mm -hmm. complete it. Think of them as being separate. So pull and then slide that D over with it. Okay. So let's try the sentence one more time. I reached into the closet and pulled it out. I reached into the closet and pulled it out. Oh yeah. no. Pulled it. Pulled it. <laughs> pulled try it. that one more time. Pulled it out. Pulled it out. Pulled it out. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So if you think if you think of separating them, it may be a little bit easier for you uh, to pronounce those instead of trying to end that word and get to the next one. Uh, it's a it's a little trickier. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Last word here <clears throat> is where did you go? Uh, let's see. I have looked. Uh, Look, so pulled it out, it was right here. And where did I have you start? I can't remember where I had you start. Uh, Amanda and I looked at each other. Or... Okay, yeah, so looked. 
Uh, so yeah, let's try that that uh, that little bit here. So Amanda and I looked at each other. Looked at each other. Amanda and I looked at each other. Good. Yeah, getting that that T that ED ending there. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything else was really good. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, let's go back to the top with Tatiana. And we went uh, under my breath. Okay, good. So, uh, Tatiana, let me have you read from the next morning. Um, and I'll have you read to a crown of my own, please. Okay. The next morning, Bradford got us up early for breakfast. He was going to give us a tour of that small part of London where he lived. He was even going to show us Pudding Lane, where the king's personal baker worked. I couldn't wait to go out immediately. After Bradford woke us up, uh, Amanda helped me into my dress and she helped braid a, s a small part of my hair and twist it uh, halfway around my head like a small crown of my own. All right, very good. Uh, the only word I want to practice is the word pudding. Okay, usually I don't take a look at names because they vary, okay, but this is actually the name of a, uh, of a dessert, okay, pud, pudding. Pudding, pudding clean. Mm -hmm. Yep, instead of pudding, pudding, okay, mm -hmm. nice job. Uh, very good, everything else sounded great. Thanks. Good, Pradeep, uh, let's go to you, let me have you uh, finish off this, uh, this paragraph starting at I then helped, and then I'll have you read down to... Um, when they, when they saw us, please. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, sir. I then helped her, uh, braid her hair uh, and, uh, to it up into a large burn on the back of her head. After I was done, she put on a large, uh, gamed, uh, necklace, uh, necklace and, uh, a uh, few uh, bracelets. Uh, I didn't see anything that I I liked, uh, so I just put on a simple uh, gold uh, necklace with a small diamond that uh, that hung in the, the center. We walk out into the kitchen again, and my brother and my uh, mother guessed guessed when they saw us. Okay, very good. Uh, let's practice the word again. Instead of saying again and saying a sound, we'll use a short I. The word is again. Again. Okay, uh, use a short I. Again. 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 Good, good. Okay, let's go to uh, we walked. We walked out. Try that, please. We walked out. We walked out. Okay, uh, make sure to pronounce that ED ending, walked. We walked out. We walked out. There you go, nice job. Okay, let's go to um, uh, gemmed, gemmed necklace. Okay, we want to pronounce that ED ending, gemmed necklace. Try that. Gemmed necklace. Gemmed okay. necklace. Okay, one more time with necklace. Okay, this is necklace, necklace. Necklace. Good, good, nice job. All right, yeah, everything else was nice. Very good reading. Thank you, Pradeep. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Good. Let's go to Laszlo. Yes. Uh, Laszlo, please continue reading from Amanda. Just laughed. Okay, and let me have you finish here where it says on top of it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Amanda just laughed and cursed, cursed of the most rigid way that she could, but I was at complete standstill. I didn't even know how to act. Blaze must have read my, me, me mind because he walked over and whis, whispered <coughs> to take my arm and I can show you how to act when when you are in front of the king. He held out his arm and I put mine on top of it. All right, very good. Let's uh, take a look at put. Instead of poo, put, it is pu, put. Put. All right, very good. Let's practice the word whispered. So we're going to start off with an oo sound here. Whispered, whispered. Try that. Whispered. Okay, one more time. 
Ooh, whispered. Whispered. Good, right. good. Okay. Uh, let's go to the word regal. This word is regal. 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 Okay. Okay, regal. One more time. Regal. All right, very good. Then last word here is curtsied. 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 All right, now curtsied is um, um, when, here, I was going to, I was going to act it out, but I'd rather not, because this is, uh, so to curtsy, uh, let's see here, okay, there you go, so this is why I didn't want to act it out, this is a curtsy, you guys see that, so holding out the, uh, your, the dress, the side of your dress like that, and uh, you step back and you kind of bow, okay, that is a, that is a curtsy. Okay, thank you, Chad. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. Uh, let's go to Goliath. All right, let's see here. Um, uh, where did I have you end? Did you end with uh, on top of Yeah, so on top of it. So, Goliath, let me have you start from just try. Okay, and I'll have you read till... Oh, that's kind of... Dang it. Okay, so yeah, and not that uh, not that he was a, a part of one. Okay, go ahead and read that, please. Goliath. Uh, Goliath. Sorry, All right, let's go uh, to. Sorry, it was uh, stuck my hangout. I don't know. Why. Okay. All right. yeah. Okay, go ahead, Goliath. Uh, for me, small. Okay. Mm, just try. Do you hear me? Uh, yes, I hear. Ah. Yes, I hear. Uh, just, uh, just try and walk uh, gracefully you, as you can. He whispered in my ears. I nodded and looked towards Bradford. Are we Are we ready to go? I asked politely. He nodded. He nodded. He and opened uh, the door. I tried to walk uh, gracefully, and I would. I could out uh, into the warm uh, in the warm September air. I knew I uh, I did well because I felt like I was gliding across air as I walked. Uh, as I walked, you are doing really well, Caroline. Blaze muttered. Uh, I gave a small no nod towards him and listened attentively as the Prophet talked uh, about all of his neighbors and uh, what they did uh, in the m marketplace and what uh, guilds there were uh, there not that he was a, a part uh, of one okay nice job um, now um, your your R here in the word Caroline um, you had said Caroline Caro okay this is care Caroline Caroline yeah okay very good. Um, and let's see here. I want to practice the word because instead of because, because, because with an because. uh sound. Because. There you go. Good. Yeah. Uh, everything else was, uh, was nice. Okay. Nice, easy reading for you. Very good. Very mm -hmm. good. Uh, let's go to Dennis. All right, uh, Dennis here. Let's uh, start from he showed. Whoops, here we go. So he showed us. Okay, and then uh, let's see, down to uh, how are you? Yep, let's do that. So he showed us down to uh, Ah Bradford. How are you? Uh, he showed us the different merchants. There were there were like silversmiths, blacksmiths, bakers, and all different types. So much so that it gave me a headache when I tried to remember later. And here he said, finally, is Putin Lane. Thomas is a great guy. Once you get to know him, he is not as stuck as uh, he's not as stuck up as people claim he is. Thomas, Thomas, is Bradford. The baker popped his head out of the door, and he saw. It. Bradford, his face lit up, and he walked out of the house. Oh, Bradford, how are you? Okay, nice job. Let's go to the word 
saw when he saw Bradford instead of saw. Okay. Oh, yeah. When he saw Bradford. Try that. Uh, when he saw Bradford. There you go. Okay. And uh, you had skipped over A here. Okay. So uh, gave me a headache. Gave me a headache. Uh, gave me a headache. There you go. Uh, uh, get that uh, the uh, um, the short e instead of ha headache. Ha. It is he headache. Gave me a headache. Uh, gave me a headache. There you go. Okay. Good. Nice. All right. So we ended with uh, uh, how are you? Very good job, Dennis. Thank you. And let's go to Anne. Yeah. And let me have you read from fine. I'm very fine. Uh, down to um, uh, nudged me in the ribs. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, fine. I'm very, very fine. Promise. I would like you to meet some friends. Uh, this is Andrea Felsan and her children. Amanda Archer, Blaze, Clarence, and Caroline. Oh, so this is Caroline uh, Felsan, the baker said, looking over at me. I blushed and dropped my hand from Blaze's arm. He shot me a grin. Grin. Uh, why the chief delegate son talks about here uh, all the time? I never guessed the girl he talked about was so beautiful. I blushed ever uh, deeper and Blaze nudged me in the ribs. Okay, uh, that last word is ribs. So in the ribs instead of ribs, ribs, mm -hmm. short I there. Try that. Ribs. Okay, good, good. Um, nice catch on grin as well. Mm -hmm. All right, and let's go to uh, delegates. Okay, so now this, and we would say ye here. Ye. Okay, mm -hmm. now this is old English. Okay, uh, granted, this is a time when uh, there were still blacksmiths and whatnot, and so, um, and there was a king that you know was uh, thought more of, um, I guess, in, in higher regard. So, uh, so this uh, this sentence here, why? Why the chief's chief delegate's son? So chief delegate's son. So we're going to combine the s's here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why the chief delegate's son talks about ye all the time? Ye all the time. It's like saying you talks about ye all the time. Try that. Why the chief delegate's son talks about ye all the time? Yep, just like that. Nice job. Nice blending of of the s's here. Really good job. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, thank let's go you. to uh, Anastasia. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. um, please read this next part from, uh, thank you, sir, down to uh, not one that is 15, okay? Okay, thank you, sir, I mumbled. Uh, the baker just laughed and looked over uh, over at mother. Uh, she looked back at him, uh, laughter floating about in her gaze. Well, my boys and Amanda are all uh, dying to see him again. Uh, do you think that he could be uh, spared? Most definitely. With how many guards he has, King Charles probably wouldn't mind if one of them took a break to see uh, some old friends, especially not one uh, that is 15. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go to 15 instead of 15. 15. Fifteen. Okay, good. Um, how about she looked? She looked back. Try that, please. She looked back. She looked okay. back. Very good. Oh. And this one here, most definitely. So most definitely. We would swallow that T, so there's no need to pronounce the T there. Most uh -huh. definitely. Try that. Most definitely. <clears throat> All right, very good. Very good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to... Um, so my connection to Amparo, let's go to Amparo, and Amparo, let me have you read uh, suddenly uh, to the square. Okay, go ahead, please. Suddenly, a loud bell filled the, the warm burning air. Bradford looked over as, at us, smiling. Sounds like the king's here, and it's time for us in the marketplace to start working. Eh? We all headed back to the marketplace where... Bradford sold his goods. Now be good, you here. I do not want to be getting into any trouble with the king. He tipped his hat to us and strode farther ahead of us, leading us to the square. Okay, um, let's practice king instead king. of king. 
king yeah with that long e sound king king okay and sold his goods sold his goods try that sold his goods all right nice job okay yeah everything else is really good okay yeah okay. nice just remember that, that when you see that ing it's that ing sound okay Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, and Aga, last one here. Um, let me have you read from before down to um, enough to see the king's guards, okay? Okay. Uh, before we even got to the marketplace, I was able to hear the commotion from everyone lining up to talk with the king. We walked out into the marketplace, and they had set, set up a throne for the king in the middle of the square. The entire marketplace was filled up with people from all uh, all over hoping to catch even the slightest glimpse of the king. We pushed our way through until we were close enough to see the king's guards. Okay, very good. Um, let's practice uh, the a D ending with had. They had set up. Okay, they had set up. Try that. They had set up. Okay, very good. Um, and I want to take a look at <clears throat> the slightest glimpse of the king. Uh, uh, let's see. So even the slightest glimpse of the king. Okay, focusing on glimpse here. Okay, go ahead. Even the slightest glimpse of the king. Okay, very good. Yeah, everything else was very nice. All right, you guys, thank you very much for, uh, uh, for coming to class. It was great having you here. And uh, I will see you. See you later. Uh, my next class, um, I believe I'm doing a. Can't even remember right now. Anyway, all I know is that I'm late for it. <laughs> yes, I, I think I'm doing a dialogues class uh, my next hour. So yes, if uh, if it's interesting to you, uh, we'll be uh, we'll be talking about filling out uh, applications. Okay. All right, you guys. Thanks. Thank we'll see you. Ya. Thank Bye. you. See you. Bye. Bye.